Hi everyone, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all the people out there, to all the people watching Desmos. You're all very welcome to my page and uh, you're very welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who are just coming in, this is your first time logging into my page. Please take a moment to like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you've always been with me, you're also welcome back. I thank you all for the love and support. Thank you for the donations and thank you for standing with me. Now, in today's subject, uh, it's going to be about revenge. So, do not revenge is what I'm going to call the subject for today. And why am I, why am I talking like that? Is uh, For the most of the people who have been out of this, who have stepped out of these narcissistic relationships, so they have a tendency of uh, wanting to carry out some sort of a revenge to these people, to these, to, to these individuals, their ex-partners. But... Uh, in my opinion, uh, I would not advise you to do that because, first of all, I'll tell you something in particular. When you woke up, when you finally woke up from this abuse, when God switched on, switched on your, your uh, tapped your switch, your, your switch on, and you woke up to, to this from this abuse, you have got to understand that uh, now the issue is not in your hands. As 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 soon as Immediately, as soon as the switch goes off and you wake up from this abuse and you understand that, okay, so you have been abused for a long period of time, I can guarantee you the issue is not in your hand now. Because why? You have done all you can. You have stood with these people all your time, all this time, these years. You've helped them in whichever way you can. You've supported them. But they've always taken you for granted. And then, because these people, they had already programmed the destination has always been to destroy you. It has never been about love. So it has always been about the end result has always been about destruction. So the end game of this relationship has always been about destruction. It does not matter whether the narcissist has been your mother, whether she's been, he's been your father, whether they have been your friends, whether it's been your partner, the end game of every narcissistic encounter is destruction. So whichever way, whichever way it is, you have got to agree with me that you have reached that moment whereby you cannot take it anymore. So because of that, the angels and your God and, and your angels and, the, and your guides, spirit guides or what, they have woken you up and they have turned on the switch. Now, you need to understand very carefully, guys, it is not in your hands anymore. As soon as the switch goes off, that is when now the divine steps in. The God you believe in and the angels you believe in and everything you believe, all the people have been standing behind you, those and. Uh, Unseen forces behind you, they have already supported you, and now it is the, the, it is the time for the divine now to step into this issue because this is not a spiritual battle you've been fighting. Uh, this is not a physical battle you've been fighting. It has been a spiritual battle, and now this issue is out of your hands. So just save yourself the pain. Save yourself the, 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 the extra mile going to, to try and to carry out some sort of revenge, you know, try to revenge them or try to, you know, plot some sort of uh, 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 plot something against them so do not for whichever reason try to practice any sort of revenge to a narcissist because first of all remember these people they don't reason like you they don't think like you and they will never actually be like you they are individuals who are specifically in their own world and in their own small world the world that they believe in they are, they are, they are, they are standing and, and swimming in their own illusion on a daily basis. So they do, they do not even know they're hurting themselves. So the very first moment you wake up and get out of this relationship, whether you've run away from your mother, whether you've run away from your father, you've run away from your partner, boyfriend, sister, or whatever, and it has been a narcissistic relationship, your switch has gone off, it is now not in your hands. The very first time you're going to realize that actually even for you finding out that you've been dealing with a narcissist, that is the moment that the narcissist now starts to experience what they call karma. It may not happen all of a sudden, because of course, maybe sometimes they have got a new, a new partner with them or some, some they, have, they have moved on with somebody else. But then the very moment, because you have woken up and you have stepped out of this relationship or this friendship or whatever, it is now the time the narcissist already starts experiencing and witnessing in front of them what is called karma.
they are going to receive their own camera even without you having to do nothing you do not have to make even 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 a move you do not have to move an inch a narcissist will always face their karma they want it or they don't want it and i'll tell you why karma is automatic there's nothing you can do about it, it is just an automatic process it is an automated process anything somebody does to you they have hurt you, they have beat you up, they have done whatever it is to you. It has got to come back to them. They want it or they do not want it. That is the way. It's just the law of physics. It has got to come back to them. And for you realizing that actually, all these previous years you have been dealing with the narcissist, that is the beginning of their karma. In some situations where you have found them, uh, let me say they have actually moved to a, to, to a, to a new boyfriend or something like that. Let me assure you, because you may be out there beating yourself up and thinking that, oh, you know, I've been discarded and blah, 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 you know, and then this and that, I need to go and revenge. Let me assure you, I can guarantee you the new people they have, they have gotten involved with, they are 100 times worse than you. They are a thousand times worse than you and they are not going to deliver the same type of supply you've been delivering to the narcissist all these years so they are going to do it way worse and the narcissist is going to have it very very rough believe me or not they will they will go on the social media and try to lie to you try to pre pretend try to to uh, try to put on that image that they are happy and uh, they are they are moved on they are happy you know because this because that you know uh, probably the new guys are giving them a good uh, better sex so maybe the new guys have got a big car or the new guys it does not matter whatever they are telling you it is all it, it is all an illusion it is not true and it is a stage so in the very beginning the narcissist you separating from the narcissist the narcissist has already started initially getting karma delivered to him just by law of physics and by 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 by, 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 by law of physics and by the law of karma it has automatically started getting back to them so there's nothing you have to do it is not in your hands God is going to take care of that. God is going to step in. God has already stepped in in the first place. And for you, the only thing you can do for yourself is just, you know, you just have to sit back, get yourself a comfortable sofa somewhere, start carrying on your healing, go through the, go through the healing process, you know, try to recover and just sit back and watch what is going to happen to these people because I can guarantee you, a narcissist can never get away with whatever they are doing. The karma keeps on following them. It has followed them even before they met you. And it is going to follow them even after they leave you or you leave them. It does not matter whichever way it is. It has got to be happy. It has got to happen. A narcissist will face karma and sometimes even it will be a thousand times worse than when they were even with you. Because every time a narcissist upgrades from an old partner to a new partner, they have got a new experience. The experience may be good, of course, in the beginning stages of time. But as, as time progresses on and on, it is going to get much more worse because those new people, they will never take it the way you have always taken it. Because remember, you guys, you've been within, with the Nazis for the last 10 or 15 years or whatever. It has been a long time altogether. So it's a lot of things you've done for them. And believe me or not, they will never get that kind of fuel with a new partner. The same fuel you've been giving them, it, they will never, whether they like it or not, they will never get it from a new source of supply because you and the new supply you never the same people they have already downgraded it's going to be another video because i'm going to make another video of how the nurses downgrades from you to the new to, to, to the new to the new sources of supply so they usually downgrade but because they, they usually undermine uh they undermine your potential because they've already uh the energized you and already brought you down so usually what they do because they think that they cannot get any more supply from you so they very quickly jump into a new, a new relationship and most of the time they don't think very hard they don't think twice they very very quickly you know get them get themselves together and very very quickly jump into a new partner with new source of supply but i can i can guarantee you for mere fact and through experience that they are already downgraded just by doing that but then because they do not know this before they don't have that kind of uh, mentality that you have you know they, they, you do not have the cemetery with them whereby you can judge things you can figure out things you can say okay so this is what I need to do. Is, 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 uh, this is the right thing I need to do. That's the correct thing I need to do. They do not have the, they do not know the difference between right and wrong. They do not have the capacity, ability to differentiate between good and bad. 
or good and evil, they can just gather whatever is in front of them and go with that anyway. And that's what happens with the narcissist. So, if you've been discarded and you're resenting, you're struggling, yes, I know it is going to be very difficult because you're going to remember, reminisce or reminisce all the all times you guys have been together. You're going to be thinking a lot, what do I need to do? These people, they have hurt me, they have done this because I've, I've talked to a lot of people. And the very first thing that people think about is that I really need to revenge because these people, they are like, they have hurt me all this time. They have destroyed my life. They have done this. But guys, I can guarantee you the very first moment you've woken up from this abuse. That means that whoever, whichever God you believe in, your angels or whatever spirit guys, they are now starting to move you to a better version of you. So you as a person, it has nothing to do with you. And it is, it is already out of your hands. And now that moment, God is going to start moving you to that life you want to live. The life you are supposed to live. You are meant and supposed to live. They are going to start propelling you to become a better version of you. They have, they have taken you out of that relationship. It is also going to follow up with a very, a very proper healing. You are going to get healing because first of all, you unmasking a narcissist is your very first step and your very first move to a correct and a proper healing. So you are going to heal. It, it may take time, it may take a couple of uh, months, I don't know, everybody heals differently. But a person who has got proper closure by unmasking a narcissist, I can guarantee you that they are going to heal actually much more faster than a person who has been discarded without actually getting closure and without actually having the ability to unmask those people before they discard them. So that's, that's, that's how the logic works. You know what I mean? So you are going to heal, be very confident, and the more... You always think about and contemplate on revenge and contemplate on hurting them or harming them or something like that. The more you contemplate on revenge, to revenge the narcissist, that is the more you make it difficult for yourself to heal because it is very difficult to heal and at the same time contemplating revenge on your ex-narcissist. But then you have to remember that these people, they are not, these people, they don't, they, 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 they are not normal people. These people, they have got a disorder. Go, this, these guys, they have got NPD. And there's nothing you can do with that. There is nothing you can do with a narcissist. You cannot fix them. Yes, you have already tried so many times, but there is nothing you can do. The best favor you can do for yourself in this situation is moving on. Keep on climbing. And believe me, you're going to get where you want to be, where you are supposed to be, first of all, and where you want to be. And for a narcissist, it's already very painful enough to see them, to see you as their ex source of supply, moving on, and happy without them, it hurts them to the core. It breaks them down, actually. They cannot even do nothing. They cannot move on with their life because that in itself haunts a narcissist for the rest of their lives when they notice that you are moving on without them and you're finding your happiness. You are healing because in the first place, even healing alone, it breaks down a narcissist to see you moving on recovering and healing because a narcissist did not expect you to get away from them all this time they've been abusing you and be in a relationship with you they never expected you to move away from them because they've already made you codependence and they always thought that you could you, you have to live with them and survive with them and that, that's the only thing they thought but when you moved away and carried on with your life and went on to recover and heal you realize that that uh, that alone in itself hurts and breaks down and crushes a narcissist to the core because a narcissist does not want you. They do not want you to move on without them and carry on with your life and go on to heal and become a better, a better person and a new version of you. They do not like that and they cannot stand seeing that. It hurts them and it breaks them down. So do not beat yourself up. The divine has stepped in and let me assure you, I can guarantee you that with, it, with time, it may take you a couple of years. It, I don't know. It does not matter. But as long as you live, of course, which definitely you're going to be, you, you will be alive and you'll be well to witness what karma can do to a narcissist because they are going to crash down in front of you. It's not because you're going to be stepping out there and, you know, trying to sneak out and checking on them. What are they doing? What? No, it's not like that, something like that. But of course, God will make sure Whichever God you believe in that set you free in the first time, in the first place, he is going to make sure that you live to witness what karma can do to a narcissist without you even doing nothing, without you having to take any physical, whether physical or emotional action towards them, just by you doing nothing, 
and experimenting something what they call self-love and learning what they call self-love, loving yourself more, putting yourself first, healing and recovering to the fullest, that alone is karma in its own. And then on top of that, you are still going to witness, you are still going to witness what, what karma can do to a narcissist because their life from you, from the moment they moved on with you, to the moment they move on to the next partner, their life is actually going to be as worse, 1,000 times, 100 times worse than it was when they were with you because it does not matter whether they have moved on to a new source of supply. It does not matter. It does not make any difference. But believe me, I can tell you from experience, their life is crumbling and they are crashing down. First of all, the new supply is mistreating them because so, most of the time those, those new supplies they do not have that same, uh, first of all, they're not you in the first place. And secondly, they do not have that same energy that you had. Yes, they may have pretended in the beginning that they have a lot of energy and they can, they can provide a lot and whatever it is, but somewhere down the road, you're still going to realize that it was never worth it and it, is, it has always gotten worse with the nurses. So there's nothing to worry about. Don't revenge. Do not partake in any act of revenge. Do not resent. Be yourself and thank that God who has set you free and who has actually dragged you out of that relationship. Understand it for what it is. Appreciate life. Go into self-love mode. Love yourself and take all the steps necessary in your power to make sure that you move toward complete, full and complete recovery. And I can assure you, the narcissist will keep on, yes, they will keep on running around looking for you. They will keep on trying to check where you live. They will keep on asking friends or all those flying monkeys of theirs. They will keep on trying to dig, to dig deep into your life. What are you doing? Who are you dating? What is this? Why, which, which job are you doing at the moment? So they will try to dig around and sneak around in your business. But I can assure you, it has nothing to do with you. Karma has already been served. And it is up to you to sit back and relax and just grab yourself a coffee and grab yourself a popcorn and just watch the movie play in front of you. Because I can guarantee you, I will guarantee you for the 100%, the narcissist is actually hurting. They are hurting, first of all, because why? You unmask them, number one. Secondly, yeah, because they, they didn't expect that you, you are, at one point in time, you're going to, you're, you're gonna, uh, their mask will slip. They did not think that their mask will slip, but the mask has slipped. And now you know who they are. And for that reason, they are very, very worried because they know they will never get you back. Yes, they know they are going to try move around here and there, try to catch you back, try to hoover you back. But at that moment, it's not possible because once the mask has fallen and once you have woken up to abuse, from abuse, you will know instantly that you are never going back. Already you know these people who are there and you are, you are definitely going to keep on moving forward and there is no way and no reason for you even to look backwards. You're going to keep moving forward. You're going to, you're, you're going to prosper. You will prosper. You will move forward. And you will achieve whatever you came here to achieve. And you will live the life of your dreams. So it has nothing to do with you. Be very strong. Keep your faith up. And keep your, keep your head up. It is going to be well with you. Do not revenge. Do not resent. Do not even try. To bring back all those memories for all the time. Try to think, oh, what should I have done better? Maybe, you know, maybe it can work. Try No, it, can, it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Keep on moving forward. And that is my message for today, guys. Please, for those of you who have been uh, struggling with, uh, with, with the breakups, the discards, and you, you think, now oh, I need to do some sort of revenge. I need to go and, uh, and carry out some sort of revenge to those nags because of what they did to me. They have destroyed my life. Yes, they have destroyed you. But then at the end of the day, God has restored you. They have woken you up from this deep sleep, from this deep hypno hypnosis. You've woken up, and now you're ready to face the new version of you and you're ready to face the future with faith and with hope guys i hope this makes sense if it resonates please make it uh, take it uh, make it a point to always push that like button and share this video with your friends if you know somebody who's struggling out there dealing with some sort of abuse please share the video with them until then thank you for the love and support and i'll see you in my next video there's more signing out